Good morning, Jaycationers. We are here in San Cugat del Valles in Barcelona, Spain. I am headed to my very first school that I taught at. I wanted to do an in-depth video about how I became an auxiliaris de conversacion. What's up, Jaycationers? I'm here with my Parring Ruel, bro. Hi, good morning, guys. We just went to Correos. I had to mail something back to the States. Yeah. We're gonna get coffee. They have a Tim Hortons here. The first Tim Hortons in Barcelona. first Tim Hortons in Barcelona. So, yeah. we can go check it out. It used to be Top Shop. Uh, Tim Hortons Philippines, hit up Jaycation. What's good? This Canadian-based coffee shop is the first ever in Barcelona. As a former English teacher, I used to get up early in the morning so coffee and cafe con leche was my favorite thing. I usually had it at the school's cafeteria though. So we're here at Tim Hortons, I just got the cafe latte. It's the first uh, Tim Hortons opened up here in uh, Barcelona. It used to be a top shop. Although I lived in the center of the city of Barcelona, my schools that I worked at were about 30 minutes away, so in this case, I had to take the ferrocarriles to San Cugat del Valles, and luckily this school, Arnau Cadel, was right next to the train station. Helped a lot, but the other schools, I had to use my skateboard. Good morning, Jaycationers. We are here in San Cugat del Valles in Barcelona, Spain. I am headed to my very first school that I taught at, Institute Arnau Cadel. We're gonna go visit my old coordinator, some of the teachers, some of my old students. And um, yeah, I wanted to make this video and tell you guys, I've mentioned it in the past. I wanted to do an in-depth video about how I became an auxiliaris de conversacion and why I love doing it for two years. What was the process, the application process, what happened when I got here. Also my experiences, how, how much I enjoyed it, the connections that I made with people. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna be slicing back to, you know, videos from the past when I was still at Auxiliar the Conversation, but I thought, what better time to do an introductory to this video than when I was walking over to my very first school here in Barcelona, in San Cugat del Valles. As an Auxiliaris de Conversacion, I was one that happened to be assigned to two schools, Arnau Cadel and Ciutat de Alba. I would spend six hours a week in each school. These are some really nice looking murals that students from the school painted. Um, Arnau Cadel is a famous sculptor uh, that actually sculpted the columns in the monastery here in San Cugat. And yeah, that's what Arnau Cadel was known for. Hey guys, I'm here with Olga. I worked with Olga my first year and she was the best. She oh. taught me a lot and uh, we had a great time in class, right? Oh yeah, of course. We were sharing, uh, sharing the class and he helped us to learn a lot of English and a lot of things and everybody loves uh, Jeremiah here and we are very happy to see him again and I hope you will come as, as many times as you can. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, how was I as an auxiliar as the conversation? You were the last one. But I did good, right? <laughs> yes, yeah. yes, yes, very good. Well, All the students uh, re remember you with a, with a lot of uh, passion and... Good memories. Yes, good memories. Yeah, me too. So I enjoyed <laughs> Thank it. Thank you, Jeremiah. <laughs> I enjoyed it so much, I did it another year. <laughs> yeah. All right, Olga, good to see you. Nice to see you again. Bye. Thank you. Adios. <laughs> Bye. Wow, so that was great. I actually got to see a lot of my students. I taught at two schools a couple years ago. I taught here and at a elementary school, Ciutat de Alba, and a lot of the kids from Ciutat de Alba are here now, and they're so much bigger. Like, these kids grow so fast. They're from like ages 12 to 15 now. It was great seeing them. Of course, you know, I can't record students, so I didn't record them, but it was great to talk to Olga, Monte, Xavi, and everybody else at Arnau Cadel. They're like, you know, work family. So it's great to see them. I'm gonna continue with this video and explain to you guys how I applied right now. I wanted to talk to you guys about the application process for being a Auxiliaris de Conversacion. So January 10th, we I think that's when it starts, right? That's when it opens. And the earlier you do it, the more of a chance you'll have to get your region, right? But yeah, um, it's like first come, first serve. So if you have a spot, in Spain that you really, really want to go to, then you definitely want to apply early because 
if you apply earlier, then you have a better chance at actually getting located there. And then number two, you don't need a TEFL to be an uh, English assistant. You do need a four-year degree. You need a degree and a recommendation letter. And we're going to put this down below on their website. They have a checklist and a complete guide, and it's all in English yeah. about how to apply. My suggestion, our suggestion would be apply right away so you can get the region you want. Follow all the rules because everything they do and they list is exactly what you need to know about the visa process and the application process. Yeah, and it's kind of daunting, but if you just take it slow and actually prep everything before the application opens, like if you already have that letter of recommendation, you already have everything prepared, then it'll go by really, really smoothly and you just send it. And then April or May is when you get accepted, right? That's when the application closes and I believe you find out... May? Yeah, maybe end of May, early June. So when you find out, out, keep checking your email because you only have three days from the time you find out to accept it. I know. So kind of you gotta find that out. And then after that, you're gonna go through your moving process, book your ticket, get your visa the in order. The visa process, And yeah. yeah, you need your background check, you're gonna need a physical, mm -hmm. and you're gonna need a letter of rec. It'll be all listed in this uh, application process, so go check that out. And then once you get there in September, we'll do other stuff about this in the future. You start from October 1st to May 31st, right? Yeah. And you work 12 hours a week, 700 euro stipend, no taxes or anything. Pretty awesome. Unless you're in Madrid, you work 16 hours a week and 1,000 euro a month. October, you're gonna do orientation and that's the time for you if you wanna meet other English teachers. Yeah, right, right, right. So you, you, you'll wanna go to that so you can meet you know, the other teachers. Yeah. That's how we met. They'll have Facebook pages and stuff, but like it's different when you're meeting people yeah, in person. Yeah, yeah. That's how, yeah, me and, sure. me and Rio actually met for the first time over in our orientation so yeah make sure you're personable that day and ready to go because that's <laughs> the only time you really get to see all the auxiliars from your region there's a couple breaks there's winter break for Christmas and spring break for yep. Semana Santa you get a week if you want to come home or book your flights to trips do it then or just stay the whole eight months enjoy your time and then go home at the After, end of yeah. May there's always home yeah anyways guys if you have any questions comment below me and Rio will be around to answer your questions so you have a fun experience there I loved it. I was there for two years, so clearly I wanted to stay for a second year. I wouldn't be the person I am today if it weren't for that experience, but I am happy to like be back in San Diego doing cool stuff with this guy. Yeah. So watch our videos. Yeah, check out our videos. <laughs> 20-something traveler, Jaycation. Also, here's some flashbacks of my experiences. Good morning, Jaycationers. It is exactly one week from today when we leave Barcelona for good. We're headed to the Philippines. I'm on Blue Flash. We're headed to the metro stop. It is one of my last days of school. Going over to Cerro Daniela del Valle. I'm gonna hop the train. Just wanted to give you guys a little look on what I do during the day at school. So uh, let's go. So it's a fairly quick ride to the metro stop. Um, we're almost there. It's only a two minute ride. We're headed in to the metro, so we'll talk in a bit. So we just got off the metro. It was about four stops. Um, it's a crowded at this time of the morning. Um, it's around eight in the morning. I switch over to the Rodalias train, which takes me into the valley, because I work over in the valley, which is on the other side of Barcelona, on the other side of the mountain. We're gonna hop the train and go to Sardinola. So on my second year, my day would only consist of a four hour work day, but it would take me almost an hour to get to Sir Daniola del Valles. From the train station in Sir Daniola del Valles, I'd have to take my skateboard about 10 minutes to the school. I just got off the train in Sir Daniola, headed over to the school. It's about a 10 minute skateboard ride. Maybe we'll vlog a little bit there. All right guys, so we've made it to uh, near my school going up the one-way street. I'm ready for a boosted board, guys. This goes about 20 kilometers per hour at the I was gonna check behind me, because it's one way, so there's no cars going at me. It's a slow residential street. Um, we're headed to Institute Gortz. It's my last day of school. It's gonna be a simple lesson today. I got three classes. All I have to do is talk to them about what I do outside of work, which is YouTube. I got a car coming, but it's pretty far away. So, it's all good. On cold and rainy days, it would be hard to skateboard to the school, but there is a bus from the train station that I could take that drops me off right across the street from my high school. 
Just made it to the school, we're gonna head into class. So see you in a bit. All right guys, so we just made it to the teacher's room. This is the uh, English language teacher's room at Institute Gorse. I parked my skateboard right here. It's in a nice safe place, locked up. I have a key into the room, I hang out here. Um, there's class going on right now. It's around 8.50. First class doesn't start till nine. You know I can't record the students, so maybe I'll record myself in class, but just me. Oh yeah, and then I also have some footage from like talking to the kids in class. Let's watch that now. I can't show you guys, but I can show me. So I'm vlogging today. Um, you'll, see, you'll see this in my channel. So, uh, so my, yeah, I'm talking to my class right now, guys. Uh, say hi, everybody. Hi. I can't record you guys. Yeah, peace. All right, guys, say hi to uh, the vlog. Hi. Like I said, I can't record you guys, but you, you'll hear this. You'll see this on the vlog soon. I'm telling them a little bit about YouTube and uh, yeah. <laughs> it's my last day, so say bye to the vlog, guys. Bye. Bye. All right, guys. Just got out of the final day of class in Institute Gorks. I still got one more day of school at the other school left, and that's next week. So only one more day of work left, but uh, I'm done here at Institute Gorks. My last day teaching in uh, high school ever. Pulling down the street in my 6 foot. Didn't turn quite enough, so. Going to the train station, gonna go home. I gotta do some editing and then start packing and getting stuff ready for the Philippines. Also got some paperwork to finish. Try not to get ran over here. Skating on the streets, I abide by all the rules, but like I like people that are walking on the sidewalks and on like on their cell phones, they're so engaged on their cell phones and like they're just not watching or cognizant of where they're going. And like whether I'm on a skateboard or a bike or just walking, like People need to be more aware while they're walking and like looking on their phones, like for real. Like even I have to be more aware of that. This is the part of uh, my ride, it's the most fun, because it's all downhill, it goes fast AF. Just gotta slow down a little bit. But yeah, check this out. But yeah, that's the downhill part. This school is pretty far. It's like a 25 minute walk if I didn't have my uh, skateboard with me, my electric skateboard. If I have it, it's only 10 minutes to the train, give or take the detours, the people in the way, cars in the way, and whatever else can get in my way, you know, like rain, weather, and all that stuff. So I'm putting this away. Bye, guys. On top of paying for rent, I also had to buy a Metro Pass for two zones, which was about $20 for 10 rides. So you got to put that into account for your budget. You also have to make time for doing laundry. And luckily I had a Bugamatic with a washer and dryer that I could do my laundry at. Hi Jaycationers, last few days in Barcelona, I have to do my laundry before I go to the Philippines because God knows how I'm gonna get to find a laundry mat while I'm there. I definitely will, but this will last me two or three weeks in my stay over there. So I gotta pack, I have two days left here. I gotta make sure all my bags are of weight. Make sure your bags meet the airline's weight requirements because you don't wanna pay up the booty for uh, extra baggage fees. So I'm just gonna try to pack ahead of time so I know exact weight that I'll be transporting with me. To the Pilipinas, mga ubes. Now that I got laundry done, it's off to the second school I taught at. Hey guys, I'm here at my school. It's my last day of class with all my students. Say hi. Hi. You can't see them right now because you can't be recorded, but we're showing them some clips of Jaycation, enjoying our last day here at Huame Mimo. Right? I can't say it. I can't say it. There you go. There you go. They'll say it. I'm not going to repeat it because I don't. But anyways, I'm going to go back to class. Say bye to everybody. Bye. Tell them to subscribe. <laughs> Alright guys, subscribe. Alright guys, so you just saw I just got out of my last class. Probably my last time ever teaching. 
We're leaving uh, Serreniola del Valles for the final time. Um, this is my skateboard ride back to the train station. It's very close actually. This is this second school is actually really close. There's just a bunch of trees and like farmland and stuff here on the way back. And yeah, we'll talk more. I'm gonna vlog a little bit. These are my last two days here. It was fun being an auxiliar for two years. This is actually the funnest part of the whole ride, going downhill, as long as there's no cars behind me and stuff. But yeah, I got full control of my board now, so I'm like, but it's bumpy. Ooh, a bus is coming, I'm gonna have to pass this way. We're headed back to Barcelona. I'm gonna meet up some auxiliars tonight. The friends I made from Valencia, from the Valencia vlog, so you'll see them again. And then uh, I got a few more things I need to close up before I leave. Before starting at these schools, make sure you master the route to get there so you don't get lost on your first week. So the only thing about this school is uh, it's about a stop away from uh, where my other school is, but it's a lot closer to the train station. So I have to switch to another train on the way home and on the way there. So uh, I'm still on the road, Alia's train. That's the train I was on, and switch to the next one. It'll take me to Plaza Catalunya. From there, I'll skate home. It's a Tuesday, so it's Taco Tuesday. And ever since the Taco, I know this is so American, but ever since Taco Bell opened in Plaza Catalunya, it's cheap, and I've always wanted to go every Tuesday because they have deals, and I save money. I know, right? For a foodie, you go to Taco Bell. It's not good, but we're headed to Taco Bell. It's Taco Tuesday. Make sure you also have a pair of headphones because it's a long, boring ride over to your school. Gotta go to this Casanova photo and check something out. Um, gotta pick something up before the Philippines, but right next to Taco Bell. I know, I know. Taco Bell is not the best food option at all, but when you're paying 5 euros for two tacos and a salad and a beer, I mean, there's beer in Taco Bell, you can't pass that up, especially with what you're getting paid as an English teacher in Barcelona. Just finished my final Taco Tuesday in Taco Bell. I'm always hungry after school because the food in the cafeteria. Eh, sorry guys, I love the cafeteria ladies, really nice ladies, but eh, I'd rather eat the food um, after school. So I work from like 8 to 2.30, so I'm starving when I get out. That's why I come here and it's Taco Tuesdays, you get a free beer, you get a free beer and a couple tacos, so I'm happy. Thank you Taco Bell, Plaza Catalunya. Off to uh, say bye to a few people. Of course, celebrating my last day here of school at Esujanto with a cortado. Is that bro? Abel, my man. Fun weekend, bro. Very fun. I'm gonna miss you, man. Dangerous. I'm gonna miss you too, buddy. Don't go. I'll be back. You can work here, buddy. I hope so. Okay. Take care. We love you, buddy. We love you. Love you too, bro. Take care, man. One of my last rides on Blue Flash. We're headed home. Just had a little cortado, gotta stay awake, man. It's my last two days, can't be napping. I got a nap, but like, not too long. So, uh, headed home, Just gonna relax, pack a little more, and uh, get ready for some Taco Tuesday, Taco Tuesday night. So although I do look like a pro on this skateboard, make sure you're always practicing safety, because if you go too fast, you don't wanna hit a pothole and fall down. Safety first, guys, safety first. Also, one of my last strolls on one of this Poland-ridden streets, uh, Grand Via. It's been killing me on uh, the allergies a lot lately, but on the way home, time to relax, guys. From time to time, us English teachers would get together, share notes, tell stories, and hang out. Even have some great tacos here at Tamarindo. Bye, Rio. Nice knowing you. What? See you back in San Diego. See you in America. Flash forward. One year later, so news flash, um, me and Rio are still hanging out, we're still friends. We're here in San Diego. And we're now hosts here on Radio Filipino America, so go check us out on RFA. Our Facebook, I'll leave it down below, and our Instagram, you'll and see it. And YouTube. Yeah, we have our own shows. We have a really cool video that y'all need to see. So from English teachers to Bar in Barcelona, to radio hosts in San Diego. I know, it's really crazy to It's me. crazy. <laughs> We've gone a long way from eating Taco Tuesday I in know. Barcelona, right? And now we're here. Lucha Libre. You're coming to San Diego, bro. One day, but not today. You're coming to San Diego, right? Y'all? Sure, I'll be there in September. I 
We're leaving Tamarindo. <laughs> Tamarindo. <Hey>. <laughs> <laughs> Jay's second to last night. This vlog sucks. Yeah, it's my second to last night. Alright, they're leaving. Bye, Bye Rio. Bye. 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 Ice cream. Alright, Dickationer, so that's how I became an auxiliaris de conversacion here in Barcelona, Spain. I enjoyed my two years as an English assistant here. Uh, I had great memories, great experiences with great teachers, great coordinators, students, and everything. I definitely recommend it. I will link it below, the Ministry of Education, Culture, and Sport in Spain. Hopefully this helps you guys um, that are interested in becoming an uh, English assistant in Spain. Just helps you in the future. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you're new to Jaycation. I got a lot of great travel content coming up. Please comment down below if you have any questions, and I'll see you in the next video. Uh...